Good morning, modern steaders. Last night when I went to go to bed, I let Pluto outside, and look what happened. Man, we weren't expecting this. Are you happy about that? No. And Olivia lost her cat this morning. Mm -hmm. Where's Figaro? I don't know. <laughs> Olivia went to go say bye to Figaro before she gets on the bus and can't find him. He's hiding on us. Huh? Yep. Yep. That little bugger. But we got our tomato plants in the outdoor kitchen. We got the baby chicks in New York City. I think mom's got your cat. <laughs> Where was he? Under where he was. <sighs> and then we got the egg layer pullets in the chicken tractor. And they were all out in the cold and the snow, so we're gonna have to go check on them after Olivia gets on the bus and see how everything is holding up this morning. You ready? I must admit, I'm kinda nervous to go check on the chicks. Hopefully they fared well. Bring up some extra feed. It's supposed to be in the high 50s today, so temperature wise it's gonna warm up, but it's just crazy. The snow is already melting. Good morning. They all seem nice and healthy. What do you guys think of the cold weather? Am I scaring you into the corner? I don't see any dead ones. So that makes me feel a lot better. They're good on food, so we don't gotta give them any more feed. Let's go check in on the egg layer pullets, the Novergins and the Easter egg layers. They're out in the chicken tractor. Stay over here. They seem well. Oh my god! Oh They have plenty of feed. Well, it's nice to see everything's working the way it should be. And I'm really happy that all the animals are doing well. Now we can go feed the layers and then we'll check in on the tomato plants. I hope the outdoor kitchen kept them warm enough overnight. <sighs> Nerve wracking when you get snow and you're ready for spring. Man. <sighs> and then Wednesday is supposed to be in the 80s. I don't get this weather we're having. <laughs> Come on in. You guys did good. You look fine. It's actually nice and warm in here. It's probably a good 10 degrees warmer in the greenhouse. <laughs> what the heck? That gives me hope that the outdoor kitchen stayed warmer too. Well, it seems a couple of degrees warmer in here, which is good. The lowest I saw get down to last night was 32, so fingers crossed. The tomato plants will stay looking like this. Gina separated them the other day and tied up the ones we needed to tie up. 
We need to put them into our large soil blocks, but we haven't had time yet. It's something me and Gina and Olivia all enjoy doing together as a family, so I don't want to do it when they're not home. So we're going to try to do it one night this week, or if not, this weekend. But the plants are all looking awesome still. The peppers are doing good. We ended up losing the celery. We kept them out here, but they died off, so <sighs> it's a disappointment. But the tomatoes make up for it. They just look oh, great. Pluto, stay over here. I'm curious to see how, oh, I'm getting rained on. Full these buckets are. Yeah, I figured they would be pretty full. So I'm curious for the heck of it. Why not dump it in the wood chip pile? Maybe that'll help our wood chips for some reason. We got a bunch of wood chips over here. I don't know if that'll do anything for the wood chips or our compost, but. I've been wondering how full these buckets would be considering we haven't checked on them in quite a while. That's another full bucket. That one's full right up to the top. Probably not the best day to be doing this. Getting dripped on with snow and water. I'm sure the camera don't like it, but I keep putting it off. Now, if you're asking why I'm just dumping out the sap, because if it sits around and gets warm, it can start to grow bacteria. I didn't see any bacteria growing in the buckets, but we don't have time to make syrup, and I don't want to take the chance and drink it if there's bacteria in there. I wonder if we can sneak in on the chicks in New York City and see what they're up to. Maybe they won't be huddled in that corner. They're all over the place, which is a good sign. That makes me feel better. I like seeing them out walking around. That means they're warm enough and they're not too cold. They're all huddled together. That, that wouldn't be good. Look at the garden. <sighs> they call that poor man's fertilizer because it gets extra nitrogen into the garden, but that means we also have snow. And it's gonna take a little bit longer for the soil to warm up. Don't take off, fun. Another full bucket. We'll water one of our blueberry bushes with this bucket. We got one more blueberry bush that could use some maple sap. That's a full bucket. I'm guessing the farmers back in the day used to stack their rocks right in this area. Uh, it looks like moss, but it's all rocks that I'm walking on top of.
slow down. Stay over here. Come on, this way. Pluto, come on, this way. It's too cold for me to wash and clean these today. I'll set them out in the kitchen and when it warms up we'll get the hose out and clean them up. You look like a wet sad dog there Pluto. Ready to go in? Boy am I glad all the animals and plants fared well with that snowstorm we got last night. Man we weren't expecting that. We still haven't opened this box yet. I was gonna do it today but Plans change, I guess. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be opening up this box and figuring out what's inside. I've been doing good. I haven't touched the box. I can't tell you how bad I want to get in there. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great opportunity to do that. And while you're down there, turn on notifications. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We'll see you in the next video.